Hello, hello, it's Coach Lawrence and I'm going to start my four to six year old session in two minutes. Everybody get ready, get your soccer ball, get six objects. Yep, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, do that and we're going to get started. Are you ready? Hello. We'll be live in one minute. One minute, this is your one minute call. Everybody see me? Can you see me? <gasps> Let's have a look. Here we go. It's me, it's Coach Lawrence. Say hi coach, good morning. Can everyone say good morning? Oh, oh, right, that was super loud. Great job, guys. We are going to have a super soccer session for the four to six-year-olds. You're gonna need a soccer ball. You're gonna need something that resembles a goal. So if you have a goal like mine, that's perfect. If you have two cones, that's also perfect. If you have two toys, that's also perfect. If you have a mommy and daddy that can spread their legs really wide, that's awesome too. So, before we start, we are going to take a trip to the soccer forest. There's gonna be lots of trees, it's gonna be magic. We're gonna have lots of fun too. So, before we start, I want you to get your soccer goggles on. Look over there, oh my goodness, it's the soccer forest. So let's start marching. Oh, get your back nice and straight, nice and straight, and get your knees up. Oh, get those knees up, it's a beautiful day. So let's have a skip. Good job, guys. Let's skip around and freeze. Whoa, what do you see? Before we get to the soft forest, there is a big field full of long grass. Long grass, so I want you guys to stand straight. Put your hands together, stand nice and straight. Stretch your hands up as high as they'll go. Higher, higher, higher. Higher. Oh, and wave to one side. Oh, that wind is blowing through the grass. Wave to the other side. Stretch. Wave. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Whoa. We made it through the long grass. Great job, guys. Let's carry on marching. And freeze. What have we come to? Oh, what's this? Everybody lift your legs up like this. Squelchy mud. Blech, blech. Oh, squelch, 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 squelch. Oh, let's stand nice and straight. We're going to see if we can squelch through the mud with some big lunges, some big steps. So I want you to stretch down. Oh, and all the way back up with one leg. And with the other leg, Stretch down, all the way back and up with the other leg. And squelch, oh, let's squelch again. Squelch, nice and straight. Squelch, bleh. and bleh. Oh, we made it through. All that sticky, icky mud. Oh, right. Wow, we made it. We made it to the edge of the soccer forest. What can I see? I see lots of really tall trees. So let's pretend to be a tree. We're gonna do the tree pose. So 
I want you to put one foot on top of the other foot and balance. You might want to use your balancing arms. Bring your hands together. Yeah, very good. Bring your hands together, stretch up, 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 slowly. Oh, nice. Oh, oh goodness me. Put, bring them up and put your arms out wide and get those branches going. And bring your hands back up. Bring your hands back down. And let's go to the other foot. I'm going to put my other foot on top of the other one. Oh, 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 oh. and balance and stretch up, 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 and get your arms out and get those branches swaying in the breeze, those big tall trees in the soccer forest, and freeze. Great job guys. Now, we're in the soccer forest and there's some animals and plants. So, what we're going to do, I see an animal. I want you to put your hands together, stand straight with your legs apart, get down, 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 push your bum to the ground. Oh, what kind of animal is this? A rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, it's a frog. Let's jump around. Rabbit. 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 Good job, rabbit. Oh, fantastic. The next animal, I want you to sit down. Can you sit down? Bring your feet together so the bottom of your feet, the soles of your feet are touching each other. Yeah. Hold your feet the ends of your feet, hold your toes, and wiggle, wiggle your legs, wiggle, 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 it's a beautiful butterfly, oh hello, a beautiful butterfly, oh hello, wiggle, 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 that butterfly has landed on a flower, what's your favourite colour, that's what colour flower you're going to be, I want you to get your hands, put them under your legs, Show me your fingers under your legs. Just like the butterfly we've just done, but you're gonna put your hands under. Yeah. You can grab onto your legs if you want. And rock backwards. Oh, can you balance like a flower? Show me your fingers. A beautiful flower. Mine is a green flower. All oh, right, and everybody up. Oh, we've had such a great time in the soccer forest so far, but what's that? I see. Stretch out your legs. Get your hands out wide. Oh my goodness, it's a bear. A big bear. I'm coming to get you guys. Oh, everybody run away from the bear. Oh, run as fast as you can. Oh no. Oh, run, 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 run. Running faster than, faster than the bear, let's go. And everyone, freeze like a statue. Freeze. Freeze! Freeze! Stop! Good job! Fantastic! Give yourselves a big clap! Give your friends a big clap! We made it to the soccer forest! We made it to a nice space in the soccer forest where we're going to practice our soccer skills. But there are three very important rules in the soccer forest. Rule number one... What's rule number one? Yep, that's right, have fun. The most important rule is to have fun. Yeah, that's right. Rule number two, do we use our noses to play soccer? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Do we use our no, no noses, no noses. Do we use our bellies to play soccer? No belly, no bellies. We don't use our bellies, Coach Lawrence, that's silly. Do we use our hands? No, we do not use our hands. We're not playing basketball. We're not playing football, American football. Okay, we use our, oh, 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 oh. Yeah! We use our feet. We use our feet, that's right. Okay, so before we use our feet, we're gonna play a quick game. Get the soccer ball in between your legs like this. A bit like the butterfly pose, but you're just gonna have your soccer ball in between your legs. We're gonna wake the soccer ball up with the soccer drum. The soccer drum. Are you ready? Play with me. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! All right, let's do it again. Okay, soccer drum. Count to ten with me. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, say no hands, no hands, no hands. That's right, no hands. Everybody on your feet. We're going to practice some of the skills we've learned over the last few weeks. We have learned some really cool things. We've practiced some really cool things. Hopefully you've been practicing at home. Uh, if this is your first time, we're gonna go through some of those skills today. So welcome to everybody if, you're, if it's your first time. Um, some of the skills we've learned, we've learned. Can you tell me one? Con, control, yeah, yeah. Um, dribbling, yep, yeah, soccer dribbling anymore. What happens when we do a soccer dribble and we want to change direction? We can do a, a pullback turn. That's right, we did the pullback turn. The scissors, the chop. Oh, and the really fun one, the power kick, the power kick. We're going to be practicing all of those skills today in some fun games. We're going to be doing it in the soccer forest. What I want you to do first though, is get on your toes. We're going to practice the control skills. I want you to put one foot on top of the ball. Nice and easy, right? But I'm going to do the scare test. <laughs> the scare test. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you put your foot on the ball. I'm going to try and scare you off it at home. So put your foot on top of the ball. Boop. I'm going to try and scare you. I got you! Oh, okay. Here we go. Put your foot on the ball with the other foot. Can you put your foot on the other, your other foot on the ball? Great job. I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, I didn't get you that time. Oh my goodness. Good job. Good balance. Okay, everybody on your toes. You're gonna roll, roll, roll the ball gently under your feet. Switch feet. And roll, roll, roll the ball gently under your feet. Switch feet. Roll, roll, roll the ball, switch feet. Roll, roll, roll the ball, switch feet. Good control. What is control? What do we do when we keep control of the ball? We keep it close to our feet. That's right. Make sure that you keep it close to your feet. And we're practicing these skills. So when we play a game of soccer against our friends, we keep the ball close and it's really, really tough for the other team to get the ball. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we practiced the scissors last week. We're going to practice our really quick feet now. So we'll put your feet next to the ball. And I want to see if you can put one foot round the ball. Can you do that? One foot round the ball. Can you do that? And then can you put your other foot round the ball? And the other foot again. And the other foot. And see how quick you can go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. It doesn't ma matter if you go slow or quick. It's all about trying to get better and get faster or get better every time you give it a try, okay? So if you start off really slow, that's how I started off. And then you get quicker and quicker and faster and faster by practicing. Yeah, that's right. So we used the word of the week last week, determination, which means we keep practicing. Okay, let's do another one. Now, I want to see if you can do tiny, tiny kicks from one foot to the other. We're going to bing to one foot and bong to the other foot. I want you to go bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Stay where you are, don't move. You've got to stay in space. You're going to have your head over the ball. You have your knees slightly bent and do tiny little kicks from one foot to the other. So it should look like this if you're going faster, but if you want to go slow, that's okay, so let's go faster if we feel confident and say to ourselves, I can do it. Okay, oh, and then we can get faster, faster, faster. Ah! Ah! Oh, goodness me. Good job, keep practicing that. Good job, guys. Now, we're gonna do 10, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten 10, toe taps. We're gonna tap the top of the ball 10 times with our toes. Everyone say, tap top 10 times toes. Tap top 10 times toes. Everybody. Tap top 10 times toes. Okay. On your toes, everybody. Oh, here we go. You're going to keep, you're going to be a little bit more lean back than when you're doing side to side, but you're going to be putting your foot on top of the ball and changing feet. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Give yourselves a big clap, friends. Give all of your friends a clap. That is very respectful. I love that. And in that brings me to the word of the week. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. What is R, R, E, S, P, P, E, E, C, K, T, T, R, E, S, P, E, K, T. Respect! That's the word of the week! Yeah! Okay, so what does respect mean? Does anybody know? Can you tell me what respect means? Being, being kind. That's right. I love that you are respectful. You're being really kind by by listening you're listening to the coach that's really cool i love that and how are we kind to each other what can we do we can do things like share that's right we can share we can say nice things use nice words to our friends yeah okay and who are we, who are we respectful to we said the coach um what about our mummies and daddies and our grandparents and whoever looks after us yeah respectful to those guys what about our brothers and sisters hmm even those guys we are respectful to our brothers and sisters because we love those guys okay and what about our teachers at school yeah it's a really good job to be respectful and kind to your teachers and listen because they are teaching you some really cool things yeah Every, what about dogs and cats? Have you got a dog or a cat or a turtle or a bird or a fish? Yeah, you're kind to those guys too. So we're kind and respectful. We listen to our coaches and our teachers. Yeah, that's right. So respect is all of those things. So I want everybody to say, be kind on three. One, two, three. Be kind! Great job, guys. All right, let's get back to some soccer. We're gonna do 10 more toe taps super fast, and then we're gonna get some sock skills. Okay, everybody with me. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Keep going, yay! Great job, guys. Okay, everybody, we're gonna practice our next skill. We've learned this skill before. Some of us who've already been watching this, but we're gonna practice again for some of the, maybe the new guys who haven't practiced this very much and that is soccer dribbling and when we soccer dribble we use our feet that's right we can use the bottom of our foot we can use the side of our foot we can use the the, uh, the the front of our foot we can use all parts of our foot to make sure we keep the soccer ball what far away from our feet no keep it close why do we keep it close tell me tell me why we keep it close That's right, so when we play soccer against our friends or another team, nobody else can get the soccer ball. If I kick the ball far away, somebody else can get the soccer ball. And so I keep the ball close when I'm dribbling. Oh, wow, 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 what, what, what happened? I had my head down, didn't I? I had my head down all the way there, which meant I didn't know where I was going. Somebody could have easily taken their soccer ball from me, couldn't they? Yeah, and I, I need to know where I'm going and where my friends are, okay? All right, so I keep my head up. So let's do this, let's dribble around. Keep your head up, keep that soccer ball close to your feet. Keep it nice and close to your feet. Good job, guys. All right, and freeze, good job. Now, we are gonna practice some of the skills we learned over the last few weeks. We're gonna learn, we're gonna practice the pullback and the chop. So there are two things that help me change direction really quickly. By changing direction, we want to go from one place to another. And that helps us get away from the other team that are trying to get the soccer ball, okay? And it helps us move really quickly with the soccer ball. So if I'm going this way, dribble, 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 and I want to move that way really quickly, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna dribble, dribble, dribble. Instead of going all the way around the ball like that, it's gonna take me so long. I'm gonna do a tiny little kick with the inside of my foot. Watch this, tiny little kick. Jump! Oh, did you see that? 
and I can do it with this foot, chop, back the other way. So let's practice that. Dribble, dribble, dribble. And when I say chop, you're going to do a tiny little chop. Are you ready? One, two, three, chop. Oh, good job. And inside of the foot, chop. Oh, great job and change your direction. Chop. Fantastic. If you have a mommy or daddy, brother or sister, they might want to help you out with this and chase you and try and get the soccer ball from you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the pullback. Okay, so when we do the pullback, we put our foot on top of the ball, we keep looking at the ball, roll it backwards with our foot, woo, and dribble the other way. It helps us change direction. So if I'm dribbling one way, instead of going all the way around the ball, it's going to take so long, I'm going to dribble, 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 put my foot on the ball, and see you later. Dribble the other way. So everyone, start dribbling round, start dribbling. Good job, guys. Dribble, 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 and chop. And dribble the other way, and chop. Dribble the other way, and pull back. Foot on top of the ball, whoop. See you later. And foot on top of the ball, whoop. See you later. Keep that soccer ball close. Great job, fantastic. Okay, now we're gonna play a game. So you are gonna need a soccer hat. Oh, it's not a soccer hat, it's my soccer unicorn horn. No, what? Don't be silly, these are cones, aren't they? What color cones I've got? I've got a red one. But you can use whatever you have. If you've got toys, I'm gonna to use six toys or six uh, uh, plant pots or whatever you can find that you can use as a tree. These are gonna be the trees in the forest. At one side of the forest, we have our castle. We have a castle. In fact, this is what I'm gonna do. This is my castle. At the other side of the forest, uh-oh. Do you remember the bear from earlier that we ran away from? Oh no, we found his cave. And do you know how we find his cave? We found out that he had taken all the honey from our kingdom. He got really hungry after his hibernation. And he found some honey. And he took our honey by mistake, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take it back. Your mommies and daddies, brothers and sisters can be the bear. Make sure they do the most fearsome bear you've ever seen. Oh, not the panda, not the panda. <laughs> not the panda, they're not as scary. You can do the, the, the grizzly. Roar. Or the polar. Roar. But not the panda. <laughs> no, they're not as scary. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have our three pots of honey at one side of the forest. We're gonna dribble across by doing chops. When I say go, not yet, we're gonna do chops all around the trees. We're gonna find a pot of honey. The bear's gonna chase us, so we're gonna dribble as fast as we can back. But what I want to see you do is do a pullback so you can get away as quickly as you can. Dribble, 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 and put the honey down and score it in the goal. And then you're gonna get the next honey pot. Okay, are we ready? You're going to be kings and queens, princes and princesses, knights in shining armor, unicorns, or ninjas, whatever you'd like to be. You're gonna get across the forest. We're gonna go slow over there and dribble as fast as we can back. Are you ready? So yes, coach. You ready to go across the magical kingdom? The magic kingdom. All right, here we go, let's dribble. Oh, it's past the first tree. I'm gonna chop. Oh, let's dribble, dribble, dribble. Chop to the second tree. Oh, there's another tree in my way. Chop. Oh, I found some honey. The bear's gonna come and get it though. So I'm gonna do a pullback. Whoop. See you later. Dribble, 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 dribble. I'm gonna put the honey down and score a goal. Yay. Oh, keep going, guys. Have you done it? The bear's gone back to his cave. We did a wonderful job. Fantastic. Give yourselves a clap. 
Okay, are we ready to go again? All right, here we go. Foot on top of the ball. And go. Dribble. Try and go and see if you can go a bit faster. I'm dribbling a little faster. Oh, chop round this cone. Everybody keep chopping, chop. Change direction. I'm going the long way. I found some more honey, but the bears woke up. Roar! Roar! Okay, dribble, dribble. Oh, all the way back. Dribble all the way back as fast as you can. And score another goal with the honey. Okay, put your ball down. The bear's gone back to his cave again. This time we're gonna go super fast. We're gonna do chops. We're gonna do a pullback turn. And we're gonna score a big goal at the end. Are you ready? Everybody. Ooh. Oh, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna dribble. Oh, chop round the first cone. Go, guys. Dribble. I'm gonna chop round another. I oh, found another. Chop. Chop. Oh, oh, chop. Oh, there's the honey. But the bears woke up. I'm gonna have to do a pullback turn. Whoop. See you later. Chop. Oh, no, the bears after me. Roar. But not the panda. <laughs> Oh, 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 here we go. And pow! And put the other ball down. Stomp and pow! Yeah! We did it, guys! We got all the honey back to our castle. Fantastic job. Give yourselves a big clap. Fantastic. Great job. And you can make friends with the bear now. Be very respectful and kind to the bear. Give him a high five. If he's your mommy and daddy, brother or sister, give him a big hug if you want to. All right, or you can just give him a bump. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you a virtual high five. Bing. Great job, guys. Okay, that was really great. I hope you had lots of fun. There is one more thing to do, though. <laughs> Rule number one. Did we have fun today? <gasps> yes. Rule number two. Did we use our feet today? Yes. Rule number three. We're going to score a goal. We're going to score a goal. So this is what I want you to do. Leave your trees out. If you have a goal at home, just like this one, that would be really cool. If you don't, and you have a mommy and daddy, and they can open their legs really wide to make a goal, that's cool too. Even if you just have... a shirt and a cone, that's fine too. So, whatever you want to use as a goal is fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to dribble through the forest, score a goal with a big power kick. Do you remember how we do a power kick, guys? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to stomp next to the ball with one foot when we get up to the ball. We're going to look at the ball just behind the ball and use our laces or the top of our foot Everyone touch the top of your foot. And we're gonna stomp and pow. Okay? When we do a power kick, it's very important that we're running up to the ball, ready to kick it. We look at the goal where we want to kick it. Just as we get up to the ball, we're gonna stomp next to the ball. For balance, this is gonna keep us balanced. I'm gonna look at the ball kick it, follow through, pow, stomp and pow, okay, but what is also very important is you look at the ball, because this might happen, oh, oh, wow, oh, oh, so are we ready, get some trees in the way, and we're going to score a goal, on three, we're going to dribble, we're gonna stump and pow and score a goal. Everybody ready? Say yes, coach. Okay, go. Dribble, dribble, dribble. I'm gonna go around one cone, chop. Round another cone, chop. Stump. Oh, oh. We'll get that tree out of the way. Stump and pow. Yeah! Give yourself a big cheer. Yeah! Great job, guys. Give me a high five. Boom. Woohoo! Fantastic job, guys. I hope you had so much fun. The word of the week. I think we did a great job listening, being kind and respectful. Yep. Okay. So respect. I want you to say be kind on three. One, two, three. Be kind. Great job. We practiced our control. We did a great job with the scare test. We did some really cool control skills, some really fast dribbling skills. 
we did the pullback and the chop, didn't we? Yeah, we practiced moving and changing direction and we did a big power kick to finish. That was really great. Guys, I'm so proud of you. You did a wonderful job. Thank you again for watching. If, and this is, if this is your first time, I'm really happy to see you guys. We're gonna do another one next week. Yeah, we've got, we've got lots of skills to do uh, uh, over the next few weeks. We've got scoring goals, we've got passing, we've got some teamwork skills, okay? So we're gonna be back next week. But also we've got some arts and crafts tomorrow at two o'clock. Yeah, arts and crafts. So if you've got a little bit of cardboard, paper, uh, crayons, glue, uh, sticky tape, um, uh, paint, yeah? Get all of that stuff out, be ready, okay? And also Thursday, we've got the bedtime story with Coach Lawrence. We're gonna be reading some more cool bedtime stories at seven o'clock on Thursday night. Um, send me your pictures, uh, get in touch, tell me how much you enjoyed this, share it with your friends. They're on YouTube as well. There's gonna be a link on YouTube, so, uh, link on Facebook, so you can see these uh, sessions whenever you want. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Um, hopefully stay safe and Thanks very much. Say goodbye, coach. Goodbye. Oh